hi a uh, warm welcome to all of you from the tech canvas family so just to give you a brief background uh, tech canvas is an uh, it certifications training institute and it trains professionals to pass the iiba pmp and analytics certifications so i am priya here and i'm a senior data analyst with around 10 years of experience in it and today we have a very great opportunity of discussing the iiba's uh, certified data analytics certification with someone who's recently achieved it so i'm sure uh, his experience and you know his entire thought process will help all of us we'll see how the certification helped him in his career as well so without any further delay i'll introduce aniket to you so aniket thank you so much for joining us today here pleasure thank you priya <laughs> yes yeah, I'm sure your experience uh, will definitely help and motivate professionals who are, you know, looking forward to crack this prestigious certification. So, yeah, I guess uh, without any further delay, we'll start off. So my first question to you is, uh, can you just give us a brief background about your career before you took up this certification? Yes, definitely. And uh, Priya, firstly, I would say uh, it's a great, I would say, which thing you are doing because uh, CBDA is something which is uh, newly introduced by IIBA and I was not able to find anyone to uh, help me answer those questions. So this is a great initiative which you've been doing, even from the Tech Canvas, that uh, finding someone who has already given the CBDA certification, getting experience from them. So uh, to answer your question, yes, uh, um, I'm working as a now product owner and as well as a business analyst um, i'm having close to eight years of experience in business analysis i have worked in uh, different companies uh, like in infosys allianz i have uh, even had a few of the opportunities to visit my clients back in south africa uh, munich germany and uh, for close to eight years i have been performing business analysis and then um, I wanted to opt my career in data analytics because this is something which I really love um, about data, mathematical equations, data representation and how do we go about it. So that is something which actually attracted me and I wanted to then pursue my career in uh, data analytics because it is something which I think it will stay for at least next 10 to 15 years, definitely. So you were work working into business analysis and then uh, this motivated you to take up this certification, right? Your interest in data, I think. <laughs> Correct. Yes, Priya. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So like, uh, can you uh, walk us through your uh, journey, right? From the day you took up this decision of, you know, attempting this certification uh, till you had that mail in your inbox that, yeah, you've achieved this certification. Uh, yes, definitely. I would say it's it it, it has been a great journey uh, because uh, I opted it uh, for the certification in the month of the May, and I could see there was a uh, discount prices for the IIBA certification. I immediately took the examination in the month of August. But I would say uh, you have to study rigorously. Even I did so for close to three months. I studied rigorously for the certification i went through the material so they do provide you a guide to business uh, data analytics i went through the uh, material five to six times and um, i used to follow the um, mock questions provided by the tech canvas as well so uh, that really helped me achieve or uh, gain my confidence on how do i have to approach it but definitely i would say that uh, the questions which you get in the exam, those are not the knowledge based questions. So it's not like if you go through the material three to four times and you will get uh, the answers immediately. The questions which are been asked in um, examination are scenario based questions. So you have to apply, you have to understand what is the concept behind those. And this is something which is already explained in the, I would say the material and uh, um, this will really help you. So that is what I would maybe just uh, um, help uh, our the uh, aspiring CBDA candidates that don't just go through the uh, knowledge based questions. Try to understand the concepts behind it because this is something which will really help you. Because in examination you will get scenario based questions, and that is where you will understand that once you understand the scenario, what are the follow up uh, answers uh, which you will have to give up for. And yes, uh, it was difficult and uh, I was thoroughly prepared for it. Uh, and I would say that when I uh, opted for the examination, this, there was a nervousness feeling because uh, this was a new field for me as well, uh, data analytics. Uh, but I would say the efforts which I had taken in last three months that actually paid off. 
and um, I was able to cover most of the questions. I would say uh, the time is quite less in terms of the certification. Uh, I would say, and uh, but I was able to complete everything in time, and uh, it's great actually. So even before you get a mail, uh, once you end your examination, you would directly get your results whether have you passed or not. So as soon as you end the examination, you, you will get to whether have yes. You need mm -hmm. not have to wait. You will uh, get your results right away. Yeah, yeah, that's one good thing. But, Correct. And it was like quite really, of course, and a kind of an achievement as early as we were able to do. Yeah, because this is a new certification, right? You don't have much exactly. material to guide you, right? Or like what exactly. is expected or what you need to know. Right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I understand. Okay. So like, uh, can you guide us or rather tell us how the certification has helped you in your career? Like uh, what changes you had or like how did your work change? Yes. Um, so as I said, I was working previously as a business analyst. Now I'm working as a product owner into data analytics and uh, data analytics is very different from the usual SDLC, which we have, because here you have to play with the data. You have to understand what is the data, where it is coming from, where the data is going. And this is where my, uh, I would say, certification in uh, business data analytics really helped me because it explains you about the process and process is something which is very important in data analytics like right from framing research questions the certification will help you that what are the do's and the don'ts when you are formulating the research questions if you are not able to formulate the research questions then what are the things you have to look at and this is something which is i would say a great in terms of the process explanation this is just one uh, domain i explained but even in my day-to-day -day life, I would say, uh, not day-to-day -day life, but in a professional life where my developers are finding it difficult to source the data or to gather the data, with the CBDA techniques that have been mentioned in this guide, it really helped me that what approach do I have to take, what approach do I have to have to explain to my developers so that it will be easy for them for getting the source of data or maybe uh, loading the data into the target environment. So I would say the CBDA is entirely a process oriented uh, where you will help or you will understand what are the different processes that you have to involve. And once you understand the process, uh, Priya, I think whatever domain you are working on, whether it's an insurance domain or manufacturing domain, the process would always remain the same. And that is where I would say, yes, it's it's the base, I would say, which is provided by the CPDA uh, certification, and that will help you achieve, I would say, any uh, solution, irrespective of any domain you're working on. Right, right, right. So, like, this certification helped you, you know, change your role, basically, then uh, in what you're working exactly. with. Okay, Correct. so that's, yeah, that's really great because it is difficult to get into analytics roles, right, without, uh, if you don't have background. So that is one thing which exactly. many people feel, find it difficult. So I think, yeah, this is, this is Correct. really good. Exactly. So uh, maybe one more thing I would like to uh, add is like before taking this certification, when I was trying to get a role or get a job in the analytics field, for every job description, they used to say, do you have any analytics certification? Do you have, a, it's an ad added advantage, of course, and that is something also which we will help. So it gives you an added advantage and IIBA been internationally recognized as an institute for data analytics, business analytics. It will surely put a, I would say, an, a, a go-to in your resume, for sure. Correct, correct, yeah, I agree. So like uh, one more question, like many people uh, they who don't have analytics background, they feel that the certification might be difficult because it's all related to, you know, data analytics in the end. But then like, uh, how, what would you tell those people then? I, I would definitely say that it's a myth. Uh, don't go through it. E, consider my example, even I did not have any experience in data analytics before I was into purely business analysis but the certification does help you and it helps you right from the ground level right from the there are domains which will help you understand the ground level data analytics and it will go towards the high level right like how you make the business decisions depending upon the data which you have so i would definitely recommend don't be afraid that even if you don't have any experience in data analytics um, you can pursue uh, the certification yes uh, as i said you have to uh, do study rigorously for it but even if you don't have a ground in business analytics you can definitely opt for data analytics and this is something i would say it will be great for you if you are starting your career in data analytics then this is the basic step which i think you should uh, take i think yeah this is a great point i think yeah many people struggle with this so yeah <laughs> thank you so much for sharing this
Um, yeah, and like uh, one question uh, which I wanted to ask you is like, uh, now that you've achieved your goal, like um, what are the three top suggestions maybe you can share with uh, CBD aspirants? Okay, so uh, yes, of course, I would uh, like to share the experience which I have uh, got from the examination, from the certification, and how I'm doing right now in my professional work. Sure. Uh, the three things which I think are the most in order to pass the certification examination is go through the, um, I would say, the guide at least four to five times, I would say, go thoroughly through the guide, uh, try to understand the concepts, then try yeah. to uh, answer the mock questions. So I was able to uh, uh, enroll myself for the tech canvas training and I did get a heap of uh, mock questions. And while solving the mock questions, what I would say is like, not only just look at the option which is correct also look at the other options and uh, try to understand why those options are wrong so in that way yeah. uh, your focus will also develop and even your understanding will develop why, why the other options are wrong and why the one option that is correct and mm -hmm. followed by that uh, the third thing which i would definitely mention is like uh, for the examination it's definitely not not a walk in the path and do appear for the examination only when you feel confident so take your time take three months yeah. of time four months of the time and once you feel like you are confident and you are able to i would say nail it then only schedule the exam possibility right. so, and the other thing which i would also want to recommend is like uh, try to uh, get or try to be active on linkedin uh, try to uh, search for someone who have just recently given their examination try to understand their experience what are the different types of questions which they have uh, uh, got in the examination because this is even i did maybe a week or two weeks uh, before my examination i did look out in linkedin for a few of the uh, candidates who had already passed the examination i tried to get in touch with them understand what are the questions and this will really help you because that is something which uh, will be help you in preparing for the certification so now don't be surprised if you find many messages coming in your inbox yes. links and messages i think many people will contact you after listening to your interview and your experiences so yeah definitely i'll be i'll be happy to answer so uh, any of the CPDS parents uh, do reach me out if you want to know any more details. I would definitely be happy to help you all. Yeah, I mean, it was great listening to all of your experiences, and I'm sure, like, listening to your answers, uh, many people will, you know, feel that some burden has been removed from their heart. So, yeah, I hope it helps uh, people to take up decisions. And, like, one last question is there anything else that yes. you would like to share, add? <laughs> For people for aspirants again um maybe I've, I've tried to cover all the points which i had encountered in my cbda certification tenure yeah. uh, but i would still say that uh, study rigorously try to go through the uh, analytics questions and yes one more thing which i made forward that you will uh, have to go through the additional uh, material as well so uh, there is a guide provided by the iiba cbda but there is also an additional resources that have been provided. Do go through them as well because you will get few of the questions from uh, those additional resources. Right. So as well. just the guide is not sufficient. Yes, so just not the guide is sufficient. Um, you have to go through the additional resources as well. Right, 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 <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. Great. It was uh, great talking to you, and thank you so much for sharing all your wonderful experiences. And. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I wish you all the best for your future endeavors and thank you so much once again. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much, Priya. And all the best to maybe all the CBD aspirants. I'm sure you will nail it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, all right. Thank you.